In this video we're going to be looking at how to make a phrase in a circle. So the part that I'm showing here in red will be the part that we will cut and be able to keep to um, apply to our um, scrapbook layouts or cards or whatever we wanted to use it for. So let's have a look and see what we need to do. The first thing I need to do is make myself a circle. So I'll take the circle tool, hold down the shift key which will keep it a complete circle and just um, drag a circle out. We can size this either by the corner handles or we can go up to the scale window and we can type the size that we want in there. Now I've been, the one that I made just now I used um, a 54 millimeter circle but you can choose whatever size you want to um, use to make yours. So we just say apply and you can see that we've got the right size so we'll just put that to one side for the moment and then I want to make my word to go round so I take the text tool and I'm going to use um, a slightly fatter one and so we'll use this one here um, if you haven't got that one on your computer choose whatever font you want to and I've just got my text size on 72 point but again you can play around and choose the size that you want so I'm just going to type out I love you and I'm going to be using capitals because I want the letters to touch both sides of my circle and what I'm going to do is put a double space in between the words so that's I space space love space space you and then when we've got that we can bring our circle back in double click back on our text and just drag this little circle bit on the side here just so that it goes around our circle now just luckily because I'd done that before and I knew which size I was using of my circle the 54 centimeter or sorry 54 millimeter circle was the right size now had the circle been slightly larger than that as you can see the word wouldn't have gone all the way around so if you're not sure you can just resize by dragging in until you get the word spaced fairly evenly so so I used 54 before which I was quite happy with okay so that's the first part we've got our word fit into our circle but what we need we need these welded into the circle itself so if we select that double click again and we can move this slider in and out so they'll go over the circle line but it's a little bit difficult to see exactly how far in we want it so if we just zoom in a little bit use the slider and we just want the letters to extend into the circle which is what they've done there so that's okay so let's zoom out again select it all go up to the modify window and weld and you've now got the first part of your word welded there in the circle right, let's make our other parts so we take the circle tool again hold down the shift key don't forget and we want another 54 millimeter circle so I've just dragged one out there go to the scale window if we ch check the lock, lock aspect ratio whatever size I type in here it will also do the width and height the same so we say apply now we want a circle this one is going to be the same size as the one we've got there so we don't want that for the moment we want the smaller one inside so I'm going to offset that internal offset and around about six millimeter should be okay for that one so that's the one that we want there but we'll save that for the moment now we can use this other one we made which we don't need just to drag out for our outside now I don't know what size exactly we need this so we can play around with it and just get that to cross over all of our letters you have to play around now i did try i thought well the easiest thing would be to centralize if we select that and go up to the align window and centralize it's actually done it this time when i tried before it put it slightly to one side so as long as you've got this that circle just slightly going around all the edges of your word you're okay so if the centralize works fine if it doesn't then just do it by eye now taking that, let's move this out of the way a moment, taking that circle, that's the one that we know is going to be the right size to fit. We need to make another one on the outside of that. So again, go to the offset window and this time we want to offset it on the outside. Six millimetres 
to be the same as the one that we made down here so we say apply select those two circles go to the modify and make a compound path that has now made that one object there's no although you can see a gap in in the middle here it's actually one object and that's what we want select it again and divide and this is the important step because if you don't divide it when you go to weld your word inside it will just weld the whole thing together and you won't have any I'll show you what I mean so let's just go back again right so we if we selected those and we made them into a compound path and then we put our word on the inside get it so that it's just overlapping select it all and weld you can see that all your letters have disappeared so that isn't obviously what you want to do so let's just get that back again take that out of the way divide now we can put our word in just make sure that they're all extending over that line just a tiny little bit select it all and then we can weld and as you can see that the whole lot's welded I'm not very happy with this wire down the bottom here because it's not quite crossed enough so if we just unweld it at the moment just re move it down a tiny little bit select it all again and weld you can see we've got a much better finish there so that's basically the word now we want the bits in the middle let's try selecting a line and centralize we've got a center exactly in the middle select them all and just go down to the bottom and group and now we've got our phrase welded into a circle now if you wanted to fill that with color if we select that and go up to the fill bucket and just choose a color you can see that when it does that it also fills the center which isn't what we want because we wanted a hole in there so if we just undo that a moment select it all and go up to modify again and divide again that will actually cut a hole through the center but i don't know if you can see there that that, that line has gone a little bit darker that's because it's put a copy on the top so we just remove that one and delete it we're still left with our one circle in the middle and if we now select it and fill with color you can see that it's cut the center as well you don't need to do that last step if you're just going to be cutting straight but if you want it to be you know if you want it to be colored in or whatever you want there you can cut that circle out as well so i hope you've enjoyed that short video and can go on and make some phrases of your own another type of welded word you might want to do is something like this where the words are welded together and they're just actually just inside the circle so how would we make that one right let's have a look let's just delete that for the moment and we'll start off with our words so if we take the text tool i'm going to make a cheats way of doing a heart on my computer i've got three lots of windings which i'm assuming probably come with windows installation so just in windings one a lowercase s we select the tool type it in it's like a teardrop shape so we can cheat and use this to make ourselves a simple heart first of all I want to flip it over the other way so if we go to object and transform we can flip it vertically so we can see we've got the beginnings of the heart shape now we can't do anything at the moment if we click on that we don't get any points that we can edit so if we go up to modify and release it from its path we can now add some points so if we just drag the center down let's just zoom in a little bit so we can see what we're doing it's a bit of a sharp point on the top there so if we just add a couple of little edit points on the center and pull those out we've got a, a stylized heart shape so that's okay so we'll just move that to one side for the moment and I don't want any fill in my 
part so we'll take the fill out for the moment we'll just use their um, styles and fonts right, let's choose our fonts for our word we don't want anything too thin so we use the same one that I used before for the other word I'm just going to type out in capitals I love and then I'm going to do you as a separate word underneath let's bring that down a moment move my heart so we can look at that and we can see that I've already moved using the character spacing I've overlapped them a bit so I can play around with that till I get them overlapped as I want now if as you can see here the L wasn't quite overlapped enough if we just go to the bottom and ungroup that I can go up and move move that over till I get the spacing I want now if I've moved it out of alignment if I just select them all and go to the align box and we can align them at the top and that L and move back into line with the others let's just move it over a little bit more let's line them up again and the same with the u the y is not if i keep moving that over let's just go back to the text box if i move that over so it overlaps more the u and the o go too far so we don't want it as much as that just move the u over slightly oops too much Sometimes it's easier just to click on the up and down arrows rather than relying on your mouse dragging there. Right, so if we ungroup that and then we can just drag the U over, sorry, drag the Y over to where we want it, select it all and align. Once we've done that, we can group it together again so that if I'm moving that about, it will all stay together. So position that where we want it just underneath the top word and bring our heart in let's make that a little bit bigger see how I think we, we don't want it extending past the end of the E so let's bring it down a little bit that should be okay select all of them go up to modify and weld and that's our word made so let's just zoom out a moment put that to one side actually we'll bring it back in we we'll use that to size our circle so hold down the shift key and drag out a circle it's just going to fit around your word where you want it looks slightly smaller than that i think that should be okay move the word out select the circle go up to the offset outside and um, for this one I'm going to make it 10 millimeters and then say apply select it all go to the modify and make it a compound path and the same as we did before we then need to divide it position where we want our word to fit inside select it all and weld and there you've got your words inside your circle again if you wanted to fill it with color just select it all choose your color and the whole thing will fill in so that's just another way of putting words inside a circle